I don't like to fight downers. I've killed a lot of downers in Witcher 1. And Neckers in Witcher 2. Neckers and Wraiths in Witcher 2. Assassins of Kings. That's a piece of land actually, no boat required. Let's run away. I'm damaging him right now. Need to upgrade my weapons.
stench. You're gonna make me wait. I see, I see, I see, I, I see now what I need to do. I see. Empty, stripped his skin off clean. Laughed and said, How tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pup. Now we're like a fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three, the one to fetch the kindlings. Thee! Interesting rhyme. Don't know you, go away. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You kids see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tets. They do. Heard an old man say once, when the army was here, he says, hide them lassies in the woods. They's dazzling the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you, wearing swords like a bandit? Just talking to the kids, asked them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Maybe you've seen her. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? 
My dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some harm. A bit of help, please. A young ashen-haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. He knows a lot. When I ask him something, he says, Wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone! <sighs> that made things complicated for me. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And, and Johnny's made up. And stranger steal kids. Just got one question for you. Don't be asking no questions. You're a stranger. Not allowed to talk to strangers. Can we eat now? Soup with scratchings. You here? Says he's afraid of you. Stop scaring my kids. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us, and we'll disappear. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yuck. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. All right, but you gotta do something for us too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Is there something else you need or want? Oh, I want something sweet. Me too! Oh, fruits. Give us a treat and we'll help you. Here's some treats. Yum! Never eaten nothing like this before in my life! I'm wondering what was that. I won't hurt you. Where's Gran? Said every stranger ever. She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? I'm not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. Would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come round no more. 
Once, when we was mushroom picking, I saw his burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers, because then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too, though she says he's made up. Where are you and your friend's parents? Dad. Some starved. Others were killed. Like mine. One day, we went out at dawn to look for berries in the woods. Still some around back then. When I was coming home, I heard the yells. Then, laughing, went up and hid in the bushes near the woods. My mum yelled! And the soldiers laughed! Leave my pa down by the barn door! Is that clean off? And then my mum! It's alright. That's enough. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Because he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. Johnny used to be boy, because Gran liked listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There is a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. This strange tree grows there. Look around. You'll see him. Thank you. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside.
Johnny? Johnny's no ordinary human being. Don't be afraid. No ordinary fellow. You're a bucker? A Luton? Ah, a godling. Not many of you left. I'm looking for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can I help you somehow? Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. the place? Let me look around. Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb.
Harpies! Nope. They are like harpies. They follow you everywhere. For life. He won't draw out his sword on time. <laughs> Done celebrating? My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, noble whoever you are. Long be your life! Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? I'm looking for a young, ashen-haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise, downright glorious. Suddenly, heard a bang. So loud, it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young, ashen-haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut, quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my morn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. The 33 thieves thought they saw the throne throughout Thursday.
Let's go. So fast, Roach. The 33 thieves thought they saw the throne throughout Thursday. Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Little Johnny softly gazes, fire waning pale. Ha! But Spark jumped out and whispered, Listen, I'm a tale. You... You got your voice back. I did. Though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the ladies. No, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he'll pester me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? Well, since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come with me. Johnny's a good, good lad, though the ladies don't like him. No, foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Ladies lovely, with power o'er all, beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. How dare you disturb our rest, woman? I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen-haired girls. The young woman. She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> Matters to me. I believe we've hit a nerve. He's bubbling like wealth and yeast. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you fear woodland beasts? Oh, hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. 
evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has surfaced near Dunwarren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast, and we will be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen third maid. Dark power? You need a knight errant, or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The Orderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. A dagger? What for? When the Alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll aid with all. I'll talk to the Alderman, but I can't promise anything. Move, woman! Give the young man the dagger. And you, white one, return only once you've completed the task. Oh, you mistress, right. On me way. Dagger. Gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Lady's told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear. Stone shear. And stone here. Yes. What the fuck is going on over here? swamps if you say so you get by all right oh, I winter to winter somehow we survive recognize this dagger I master I didn't know you belonged to them so you know who sent me good easier that way forgive me I didn't know you came from the ladies of the wood. They help you often? From the time of his cutting, every man is theirs. They be harsh mistresses, but they're fair. Just. Demanding they can be, but then nothing in life comes easy. Who drove off the plaguey heirs? Who gave us seeds to plant? Round the other villages, they be eating the soles of their boots, whereas we, well, we get along well enough. Hear about an ashen-haired woman meeting the ladies of the wood? Well, I ain't heard nothing about that. 
Bag your questions to the ladies and they may answer. They knows all that happens in Velen. They got informers? The woods listen for them. A lone word at an ill hour can arouse their wrath, but they hear pleas and prayers as well. Once a swiner had lost a sow, sat and cried at the crossroads. The sow ran out of the trees as if chased by a devil, straight to the swineherd. Ever meet the ladies of the wood? Never. They only shows themselves to the chosen. Perchance one day, I too will be summoned. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one that feeds on bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Fathers, sons, daughters and mothers. Folk are afeard to move them. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens there now is a wonder. Few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. When did all this start? Three year back. I remember, twas a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. Thought it was a storm at first. A squeal pierced the air, near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands, and the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. The young'uns, born crippled, lame, fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is? They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. But must not be they, for they sent you. I'll look around the Whispering Hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light.
intend to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? Okay, I got my coffee and now I'll be taking a few sips while I'm playing. You claim to be in prison. How so? I am bound here in fetters of magic. I wandered and endless. A love of me. The children. I know all. I know I what to be with them. Free me. If something threatens the organs, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I come here to kill. A gallop unchained. I shall see them. Only I can. Triggered a fight for some reason. I was hoping she'd give me some evidence, but she doesn't. Um, I know uh, what I'm doing, and probably killing her is going to create a problem. So uh, I can't even escape now. It's already done. It's I know about this, this is one of the most famous trolley problems in Witcher. And so you gotta understand, when my friend played Witcher 3, who recommended this game to me, he already told me about the crones and the trolley problems that this, this quest brings. I can either save the children or the villagers, not both. And, um... I mean there's no right answer here so you can probably save each one of them individually maybe do multiple playthroughs right so that's it I mean you cannot save them both that is for sure so I will probably kill her this time since it seems to have triggered the fight and I can't leave and my friend told me about this quest, so it's kind of void for me. As soon as I figured out she's talking about the crones, it became obvious. Um, but that's it. I think for this time, I will kill her and save the villagers. Next time, I'll try to save the children. And don't worry. Um, I would say it does not matter because the Witcher is famous for giving trolley problems like this. In which one it was I believe Abigail and the villagers. And this time it's the villagers or the children. But I guess saving more people also matters. Considering the fact that children are the orphans and they are limited in number and the villagers will include the adult population as well as the children who are there in the village. It's not like anybody's clean here, both are evil.
bright side of this thing is that I got a lot of loot. alchemy in this game is seriously dumbed down from Witcher 2. I like the alchemy best in Witcher 2, even better than Witcher 1. Witcher 2's overall combat system sucks ass. Now the children will probably be eaten by the witches. Solved your problem. Just in case, though, avoid the Whispering Hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? An evil spirit had possessed a tree on the hill. It was responsible for the killings. How'd ye dispel this evil? Some being had come to possess the tree's heart. I destroyed the heart and its inhabitant. So it were a ghost? Will it be back? No. The crones, or the ladies of the wood as you call them, said to remind you about payment. Take it you know what they want? Aye, oh, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. So they want his ear. Like I said, this quest has been spoiled. Um, my friend told me about this quest. He will probably chop off his ear now. And... While I don't like spoilers, this quest was spoiled because I actually spoiled my friend's Mass Effect suicide Take mission. The ladies, and the first the uh, first games, I think pact. the fight with... Uh, you're a stranger, you don't oh. know life here. The boss. Honest pay for their protection. Benetzia. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on. Our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Velen. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. So as I was saying, while this quest was interesting, towards the end when I finally find out that this is what my friend was talking about was very unfortunate for me. These are the three witches. As you can see, these witches eat children. In real life, you're different than you were in the tapestry. Well, bring it here. Never seek to cross us again. We shall forgive you this transgression for you've done well. Your children are plump as piglets, sweet as caramel. But now we must talk to our white-haired friend. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Perch. She belongs to no man. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. 
We helped her. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come. It is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. Alright, so just a little background. I spoiled my friend's Mass Effect's uh, fight with Benetzia. I spoiled her that we should get Liara Tisoni and that she is our mother. Benetzia is Liara Tisoni's mother. I spoiled his Dark Souls battle with Manus, the father of Abyss, and how to defeat him. Basically telling him about the pendant and you spam that talisman, I believe, to uh, basically fight off all the, or rather deflect the black swords or the dark magic, whatever he uses. The, the two of the spoilers which I did, so he spoiled this for me. That was a payback, so it's okay. Our deal. I did my part, now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a veil, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. Mischievous. Stubborn and selfish. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. I think now I'll get to play as Siri. We knew someone's We let beast and players show the omens. We would glimpse her likeness, a mirage in a blood. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was her the omens had spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. Fuck I did. Probably need to keep an eye on my health bar. 
Stupid mistake. I should have realized when I saw the fog it could be some kind of a trap. And the load times for this game are insane, so I should probably be more careful. Sauron is here. He's coming for his ring. I mean, Elden Blood. I mean, Elden Ring. I mean, the Elden Blood. Lord of the Rings. Sauron. Not called Wild Hunt, guys. Sauron. You tried to kill her. Tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Her blood, the taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood, extraordinary girl, but you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her, can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if... The girl will die and see you and some light. So the children are gone now. A sad story indeed. A very sad story. And... Where is Anna? She probably dies. Yes. Mm, okay. So that wraps up the quest, I think. Family matters.
step closer, or you never know the other stick. Kill him! Strip him, then dump him in a ditch! That's it, Roach. So you want to fight for us for brush with you? Come on, come on. Sack of flour. Sent my youngins to pick mushrooms yesterday. Move it. I have nothing but good words to say about this game. The quests are interesting and the atmosphere really pulls you towards doing more quests because you like to explore and the graphics, the fidelity, the environment, look at that sunrise, I mean sunset, it's 7.46 pm right so it must be sunset but you get it looks so mesmerizing but the best part about Witcher 3 especially the advantage of this game over Witcher 2 and 1 is the story Witcher 1 also had a really good story but this one is good all around it through and through Come on, Roach. Let's be the witch, man. Freaking nature. Baron points out some of the things from my friends. They also provided a horse. If you don't like the running around you have to do in Witcher Island. And added a fast travel option. And made the gameplay better. So, I don't like that the alchemy is turned down. Basically, don't have to do all alchemy. I don't like it. It's bad. If it weren't for our fair helpers ruling the wilds, we'd have starved long past. Interesting. Baron's always inside this place. It will be interesting to see whether he will change into a good person. If we bring back his wife. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why do you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under! 
I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. You still think me rotten to the core? A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Let's give him a chance, like I said before. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin, while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it! One tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years, without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. How'd you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the arse by a horse. I went to find the bugger. To get the girls back. Bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me. Something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. And Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Bloody understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life, and mine, several times. 
She would prod me, goad me, taunt me, in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologised. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Trust me, I'm using this option. Home, but you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. Because I already... Well, I actually want him to have Anna at least. She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word, in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength, and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones, just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return. I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. <laughs> I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we were!
like that. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Where'd you get these letters? I haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her. Bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Ha! True indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Oh, no, 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 no,
dare you! What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Funny story? How so? I went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, the merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. That looked like a botchling though. I'll be doing this side quest now. Uh, I want to see this through. Because I'm interested and that's it. I don't do all of this side quests in any game. Unless it's a platformer. Because there's an exception. I did all of the quests in Ori and the Will of the Wisps because I wanted to take it to 100% completion. And it's a good game. Ori and the Will of the Wisps is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, because I like this quest, I'll do it.
That's it, Roach. Why the devil are there witch hunters here to start with? They didn't ride from Novigrad to hang two blobtits, did they? I-I-I don't know, my lord. They say where they were headed. Geralt! Good, you've arrived! Can't draw any meaning from this rabble's boring. Perhaps they talk some sense after a few lashes. Well, spit it out. Where'd they go? T to the village in the swamp, my lord. Lass rode with them. Asking after a mother, Constant. Lass, we must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. All in, with the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down. Plowing swamp. Fox ridden air from out brand rot in the peasants. Crowns, fuck me. What will these high seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. Some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant mark. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them, care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. Through you, brawny bird. 
What is it, Grey Boy? Fucking shit! Round the arm! Fighting on a horse is so dumb. I don't know why they'd even do that option with me. Basically, making it slightly better than fighting on a north horse. Because I really uh, should be having more reach on a horse. But it just doesn't, you know, use the entire length of his arm to make big sweeps. I end up missing the target. Minor complaint. With you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for Mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her! Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes-man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you, we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village!
Don't. Over here! Baked and hot. Mother. Ah, clean as a whistle. Fresh as a daisy. Go on. Whip me. I made it too little. I nibbled it, but just to see if it's firm. But it's fresh. So take pity. Oh, Mother. Take pity. I played it. I begged. Mother, it's me. Do you recognize me? What, what's happened to her? I said I'd do it all. Give it here. I'll scrub it again. Scrub it clean. Mother! Something's coming. Get ready. That. Wolves, perhaps. Didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. No salvation. No escape. <laughs> you make a feel. You're so <laughs> You see, she's trying to defend herself, which means she's not all gone. If you see, she's, she's in a defensive mode, right? Trying to block it to her face, get the guarding position. But that's a big monster. Mm. But, so I think she'll be okay. She can probably save her.
You weak thief. You'll spoil our feast. Shit. Not even. Fiddler sword. I thought witches would be coming. Um, this is just normal. Does seem to work. Or we should try hard as well. It doesn't. Fuck. Fuck. Mm. Fuck. Fuck. Um. Fire on his ass. What was that? Looked a fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Enough! I'm taking her away. She's my wife. She'll return home with me. You're welcome to come with us if you wish. Don't touch her. We leave this cursed place now. She's sick, weakened. Where would you take her in this state, Oxenfurt? It would mean her death. I know how to care for my mother. She's not a rag doll to be ripped from hand to hand. Let her decide. Bye. Bye for dinner. Mood pie. She's incapable of deciding anything just now. A dark spell, it must be. Help her, Witcher. I beg you. This is no dark spell, I'm afraid. Well, what is it then? She's been through a lot. Lost a child, was carried off by a fiend, lived in the Crone's village taking care of children who are now gone. It's left its mark, as it would on anyone. So it's hopeless. You can't help her. She's to be like this. I'm sorry. I'm now a hermit. A very wise man with a gift for healing. Met him some time past. Lives in the Blue Mountains. I shall take her there. Might be worth a shot. I shall go with you. That's impossible, sadly. Why? You have duties. Duties deriving from your commitment to the Church of the Eternal Fire. Once we finish our work in Velen, we return to Oxenfurt. You said you'd save my mother. And I kept my word. Your father can care for her now. He care? You know him. You know what he did to her. He swears to be a changed man. And in his eyes I see true sorrow. Remorse for his sins. He will care for her. And you've a new life and new duties to the eternal fire. Fear not. All will be well. I will not touch drink. I will find the hermit. And once she is herself again, we will find you. A hopeful ending. It. But it's very, very sad. You have my word, child. Very sad. I mean, this quest got me very emotionally involved. A very sad story indeed. Witchers were made to kill monsters. It doesn't matter who posted the notice. The coin has to be right, that's all. Witchers don't debate. Their conscience plays no part 
They just get on with it, then pick up the coin pouch tossed at their feet and set off on their way. Folk don't expect witchers to save them from themselves. Thank you, Witcher. Despite all. May the eternal fire guide and protect you. Farewell. That wraps up this quest, I think. You were right to let me know. No further updates. Wait, why? The quest has been updated. I won't be pursuing main quests for now, I will be actually picking up a few side quests, but I have to actually go and pick them, so um, I'm gonna end the video here actually. And my thoughts on the game, especially regarding this quest are, whatever choice you make, you will not have a sense of satisfaction that you made the right choice, because I really there is no right choice. You can't save everyone, you can't save the children, you can't save the village, and you can't save the Baron's wife and satisfy Tamara, his daughter, that he's a changed man. You don't know if he has changed at all, right? How, how can you know that? Do you have some, like, if, unless if you have someone to know who is able to predict future in Witcher, then you play Witcher 4 and find out that he's still go a good person but he is a changed man then it's okay <laughs> but right now we don't have the resources to say that he, he he's going to be a changed person we don't this choice is perfect okay any choice is perfect because ideally in in, in choices like these in trolley problems is an argument that whatever choice you make is the right choice because there is argument for both right whether you want to say person a or person b there's an argument for both well there are plenty of arguments and if you saw the cutscene where Witcher explains he only works for coin he doesn't need to debate uh, the moral dilemma that exists in deciding which choice was the better one which saved more people i believe saving the village is better you save more people have a shot with baron you know um he won't be sad and depressed all of his life and he's he's everyone should be allowed to prove that they can change but that's it stay tuned for my next video